The irony, <laughs> the irony of it is, is it's so expensive to do the safest thing that it, you, you should be doing. True. And I guess racing's not for everyone. Like I've seen people come into the series that you have to be mentally, you actually have to have some mental stamina to race. And yeah. it's a very, it's not something people anticipate that when they come into yeah. race. And I, You need smarts, you need to be able to focus, concentrate for long periods of time. You need to really want to do it as well because you have to get up early. You have to tow the the race car to the track, or yeah, yeah. for sure you have to work. dedicate a lot of time to it. So yeah. So when you see the uh, the F one kids guys, they all still have dinners together on the Wednesday night. Yep. Like I think, I think, unless it, uh, well, the photos you see, they they're all at dinner together. Um, I, think, I think that's just the PR stunt. They oh, just think they're one picture. <laughs> I no mean, shit, maybe it's more like that. My now. Dream. <laughs> maybe it's more like that now, but for sure, it's F one's pretty killer and pretty hardcore. I think, the, as you say, like the Carlos Science and the no, they, they're, they're they're making it more fun. And Formula One, since Bernie Ecclestone's um, not in control anymore, I think they're trying to make it more fun and uh, fan friendly and trying to change the image of F one from being super straight and super boring. So you look at the F one guys. Charles Leclerc, like, yep. um, Nat watched that Drive to Survive. We were with, yeah. we were with Philip Morris, and we get to have like lunch, a little lunch with Charles Leclerc. So okay. Nat's like doesn't fall hug, like yeah. hugging him. Matt, I said, and we were right near where the toilets were. Okay. So I said to Nat, I said, one thing I can guarantee you, every driver is going to go to these toilets before before they have to go out to... Uh, and then there was Max Verstappen <laughs> came through. Okay. <laughs> and Nat ran and grabbed him. Uh, I, I've sent you the photo so you can pose that. And full hugs him. And he's like, oh. And he just started laughing because it was... She was like, bear hugged him. I go, it's okay. She's my life. <laughs> that was so funny. But the, the guys are all... They're all pretty cool. Like, yeah. you know, even look, I got my claim to fame is photo of Lewis Hamilton. And Nat goes, oh, that's a pussycat dolls guy. Like, <laughs> that's Lewis Hamilton, get my camera. Yeah. And um, his manager was shooing him off. Right. And he said, Lewis, got to go. And he goes, no, no, we'll wait. And then Nat turned the camera off and like a one second photo turned into like 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. But the- Lewis is cool. Like I've, I've raced with him and I spent a week with him in Melbourne back in 2013 when he came in for the Grand Prix. And when you just see things on TV and it's all pretty straight laced and when people are wound up in the car, they say things that, but when you like spend the time with him, I raced with him years ago and I saw him again for this week and he was exactly the same as he was when he was a kid. Yeah. He's just super nice. Do you nice recognize him? Yeah, yeah. No, I was I was with him for the whole week because he um, lost his license. He, was <laughs> oh, he did the burnout in the Berg. <laughs> what a legend. That's, so I that's... drove him around for the week. I hung so, out with him. Yeah, no, it was cool. And he so, was super nice to everyone we met in all the restaurants, the concierge of the hotel. He was like just 100% normal, the same as he was when he was eight years old racing his, his cadet car at Cambridge Car Club in Hoddesdon in England. Yeah, so, so for people that don't know, he that is what got him back <laughs> in my good books. Was him, he got busted doing a burnout on Ligon Street in one yeah. of the Mercs. Obviously, he just won the F1 race just... and he's doing a burnout. And unfortunately, the police didn't see it that way and impounded his car. <laughs> that is fucking legendary and that that is pretty cool I think you should be allowed to do that shouldn't you if you've just won the Melbourne Grand Prix you should be able to do a bit of a I, burnout in I, your company, company car 100% agree